Hello to all of our YouTube subscribers and friends. Well, today is Sunday, and as promised, we're featuring the second Ford LTD Fox Body Wagon that belongs to our friend Andy Perlman. You may remember that last week, we featured Andy's Blue 83 LTD. It's been a very popular video for our channel. If you haven't seen it, find it and check it out. If you're like we are, Fox Body Ford products are among our all-time favorites. It's the perfect platform for modifications and parts are readily available. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like the video and share it with your friends. Now, let's go for a ride. My name is Andy. I own the 84 yellow LTD wagon. Um, I've had that car for about two years now. Um, I was actually searching for parts for my blue wagon uh, that I was in a fender bender with and a friend of mine found that car sitting in somebody's backyard out in Queen Creek, out in the desert. Um, he knocked on the door and it was nice enough. They, they texted me a couple weeks later and said they'd sell it. But gladly, in that two weeks time, I'd already fixed my blue wagon. Still went out and looked at it and uh, picked the car up. We had to dig it out of the mud, put four tires on it to get it on the trailer. But uh, we trailered it home and decided I was gonna build it instead of take it apart. It sat there for 14 years, busted glass. Uh, the motor was half, half the motor was in the back of the car. Uh, pretty sad shape, but I couldn't let another wagon go. I did, when I pulled it up here actually, my neighbor across the street came over and he was trying to sell his house. And he's like, can you please not make it look like a junkyard today? The car was so bad. Um, I thought it was going to be a cream tan color. The second I got it home, the first thing I did was start buffing on the rear quarter panel and realized, no, it was very yellow. Um, pulled all the interior out and cleaned everything, everything as far as you can, uh, inside and out. It is actually a special order car. It was a uh, fleet vehicle for Empire Caterpillar. Uh, it was their carpool vehicle. Um, I found that out because it actually had pinstriping and stuff back in the day and when I was buffing it you could just see the haze of where the stickers used to be. That one was a V6 automatic car originally. What I've done to it since then is uh, it's got full UPR front suspension, coilovers, bare brakes, it's got a Tremec 5 speed in it, it's a fuel injected 5.0 with uh, aluminum heads, cam and intake, and a Vortec V1 supercharger. Uh, it is set up more for the autocross course. It's actually got pretty stiff springs on it, full adjustable shocks, and uh, it shocks a lot of people when we go out on the autocross course with it and playing with the Porsches and BMWs and uh, Miatas. It is a 302 bottom end. It's a Ford SVO aluminum heads, an Edelbrock Performer RPM2 intake, uh, fuel injection intake, and the E-cam as well. And it's got a V1 supercharger running about nine pounds of boost as well. Yeah, the, the blue wagon makes 450 horse of the tires. Uh, the yellow wagon makes 375 horse of the tires. Uh, the difference really there is just the difference in efficiency in the blower. Some of my favorite things about it is the fact that it gets so many looks. It is bright yellow, so you can't miss it in a parking lot. Uh, it gets thumbs up everywhere I go. And like I said, the autocross course actually won car of the month this month. Just, it's that different. Uh, you always hear stories at the car shows of people who used to have one or their mom used to have one. As for future plans, I don't have anything specific for that car. Um, I always wanted to do a wide body on one and haven't been able to bring myself to taking a sawzaw to the wagon. It's just too nice. But uh, it does run a 275 tire all the way around, which is pretty wide for a wagon. Uh, I'd sure like to fit a little more meat in there, but. It might get it sometime, but I can't bring myself to do it quite yet. Uh, it competes pretty well in autocross, I'd say mid-pack, which is okay for, for what it is. Um, always looking for more horsepower, and it'll probably get a motor down the road at some point, or, or more boost maybe, but uh, at this point I'm going to enjoy, enjoy driving it and, and just put some miles on it. I'd like to throw a thanks out to Bear Brakes. For all my brakes, uh, Duffy Motorsports for the machine work and engine work he does for me and being an all-around nice guy. 
um, and then all my friends for coming and helping me work on it and dig the thing out of the ground. My friend Joe, he literally showed up at Queen Creek and helped me dig the thing out. That was pretty cool. Um, my girlfriend Leanne for helping me with it. Since I do have two of them, she, she's the lucky one that gets to drive the yellow one more often than not. So uh, it's nice pulling up at the car show in two wagons. They definitely, normally one would get some looks. Two, that definitely turns some heads. Thanks, Andy and Leanne, for sharing your two awesome Ford Fox wagons with our viewers. Let's show this 84 LTD some love by leaving a comment. What did you like about it? Uh, one more thing. If you have or know where one is, a Ford Fairmont wagon or a two-door Ford Fairmont or Mercury Zephyr, leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Andy needs a new project and is currently looking for one of these cars that we just mentioned. Please help a fellow car guy out. While you're at it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss one of our cool features. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Next Sunday, we keep the Ford Wagon theme going. This time, are you ready for this? It's a 1965 Falcon Squire you're sure to love. See you next week, and remember, please be careful out there. <laughs>